Today we are gonna be doing some peach nail designs. All of these are really soft and subtle and I just think they're perfect for spring. So the first few are using regular nail polish and then the rest are using gel nail polish and materials from Timu, which we'll get into later. But first I wanna start off with this ombre look. So I'm doing peach and white because I just really love that color combo. And I'm starting by applying white and peach to a makeup sponge and then just sponging that right onto my nail. And typically I will use a barrier or something, but because these colors are so light, I just cleaned up after I was done. I refilled my sponge three times and let my nail dry for about a minute in between each layer. So here it is glossy, and then here's what it looks like with a matte top coat. Next is this flower tip design. I have been loving these little dot flowers this year. That's why I keep doing them. But this is really up to you how many you put. I ended up doing three going across. And to make each flower, I'm just drawing five dots using a dotting tool and then kind of filling in the middle. And I used a cream and then two peach shades. And then what I'm going to do for the middle dot is just switch those colors around. So I'm only using three colors, but mix and matching, if that makes sense. The next look is another quick one. So I'm starting off with a peach base and then I'm gonna take this cream OPI, it's in the cloud shade, and I'm using the brush just to draw, just a squiggle. And whenever I do this, I don't really know how exactly it's gonna turn out. So I just kind of let the brush do what it wants and it gives me some sort of squiggle design. And I ended up doing two and then I did go in for a second coat and I used the small brush just so I could make sure I was staying within the same squiggle shape. And that's it, you could do this as an accent nail or a full manicure. For the next few designs, I partnered with Timu, and if you don't know what they are, it's an online store that has products ranging from kitchen to home decor, clothing, and of course, nail art at a really affordable price, and they have free shipping. So you can click the link below to get the products I use in this video, and you can also use code OFF9376 for 30% off for new users. But we are gonna be doing another ombre, this time with a different method. So I started off by applying one coat of this peach gel base, and then I'm gonna start doing my ombre. So I painted half of my nail with the same peach, and then the other half with this peachy pink shade, and I'm gonna take this brush that came from a kit that I got from Timu and just kind of swipe a few times in between the colors to start to blend them and then I'm just gonna cure that under my lamp and repeat for a second coat so this is just a great method if you're using gel nail polish it's really easy to do and you can do this with literally any color I finished with a glossy top coat and here's how it turned out. For the next design, we're gonna be drawing some peaches, which I'm really excited for. So I started by creating a fringe tip on all of my nails and this is a more sheer shade, so I ended up doing two to three coats just depending on how I applied it. And then I'm gonna go in and use a dotting tool, which is actually on the end of each brush in the kit. So I'm gonna use a dotting tool and just make little blobs to create peaches. And this does not have to be perfect because it's a peach. So I made my blobs, cured it, and then for the second coat, I'm gonna do that same peach shade, but then I also a little bit of that pinky peach just to add in a little color into the peaches. And then for the stem, I'm making these tiny little green lines on each peach. And for this one, I think I like it more with the matte top coat versus the glossy. For the next look, I'm starting with this cream gel polish, and I'm gonna cover about half of my nail, again, working in thin coats and curing in between each layer. And then I added a peach line going underneath that and finish off with a glossy top coat. And I don't know why, but this reminds me so much of those creamsicle, popsicle things. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about, but it just, this whole video gives me those vibes for some reason. Anyways, that is today's inspo. Let me know which design is your favorite, and thank you to Timu to working with me on this video, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!